Check it. Check it. Three point. Expendables four. Talking points from this film is that Megan Fox still can't act for crap. Terrible actress. Absolutely terrible. But you know what? Overall, the film had the action that it needed. It was an action packed film, and that's what you got from this film. Action packed indeed. Do you know what I mean? All the fire flames, exploding cars, all of that had that in abundance. And that's the good thing about the typical action film that you want in an action film. So they had that. You probably wonder where I am. I'm in the car park right now, but you know, I thought it's a safe space, quiet here, so let's just get this thing done here. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, they gave us the teaser of a potential showdown between two martial arts great, which didn't unfortunately happen. You know, we had some kick-ass moments there too. I was fanning out because I thought there's a potential this might happen. Do you know what I mean? Iko Uas, you know what I mean, against Tony Jo. But no, it didn't happen. But you know what? It still was a good film. You know what I mean? They gave us the teaser. Still was a decent film. Overall, the action was there. As I said, Mega Fox sucked. Apart from that, everybody else did their job. The plot, standard, substantial plot, as you'd get from an action film and everything. So, overall, I have to look at it and give it a 8.4. 8.4 for Expendables 4. Don't think it was better than the first film. Probably even the second one. But you know what? 8.4. So, from me to an expert point, I'm out. Check it. Check it.